Hello, Lindsay here, and welcome back to the North American Guitar for our first video of 2022. Spotlighting this guitar feels like the perfect start for this year, as it checks so many boxes for things that Teenag loves. It's handmade, built by a master luthier, it's vintage, and it's the first of its kind, and it's one of a kind. This is a 1978 Samaji DC-1, crafted with Brazilian rosewood and Sitka spruce. If you're familiar with our luthiers, Irvin Samaji likely doesn't need much of an introduction. He's known as the luthier's luthier, as not only has he been crafting some of the most highly sought after guitars for decades, but his innovations and his approach to guitar building have had a massive impact on countless other luthiers. He's published books and trained many of the builders that we work with, like Tom Sands, Mario Beauregard, and Julian Gaffney, among others, and his designs, like the modified Dreadnought, have been picked up and further developed upon by even more builders. This DC No. 1, crafted in 1978, is one of the first 12 instruments and one of the first steel string guitars that Irvin ever made. It was modeled after a standard Martin 14 fret dreadnought, but with this dramatic Florentine cutaway, it is sort of a transitional instrument. Now, if you're wondering how a 44-year-old guitar looks as essentially new as this one does, that's because this guitar has had the benefit of a full overhaul. The original owner who had it all those decades brought it back to Irvin just last year. Irvin humbly jokes that he was both charmed and a little bit embarrassed by the amateurishness of his early work, as I'm sure we all have felt about our previous projects. Lucky for us though, he used the mastery that he's attained since the 1970s to take everything that was really special about this guitar already and refine it even further. The original finish was stripped and all marks, scratches, and cracks were repaired and sanded out. He reshaped the neck, which was originally rather large and chunky, to be more of a nice sort of flattened D shape and cleaned up the fretwork and reset the action, thus bringing the playability up to modern standards. The delicate peghead was reconstructed and the bridge reshaped to be more like his current style. And appointments like the rosette and the heel cap were completely redone. Most importantly though, is the revoicing work that went into this guitar. Some would be inevitable in the course of restructuring and repairing an instrument anyways, but Irvin's process for voicing his guitars has of course evolved over the years. So he brought that refined ear and approach to this guitar. He operates under the Spanish guitar building principle of making a guitar no stronger, but also no weaker than it needs to be. He says that the Sitka spruce top was originally so thick it was practically immovable. So he recalibrated it by reshaping the braces and carefully thinning the soundboard until it became more yielding and closer to having that perfect balance of strength and resonance. The sound hole was also enlarged and a French polish finish was hand applied at the end giving the woods a better opportunity to fully vibrate than the old lacquer finish allowed it to. Irvin outlines every change that he made to this guitar on his website in even greater detail with his trademark humor. So if you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out the link in the description below. In the end, what we have now is a guitar that has the aged, played-in tone woods of a vintage instrument combined with the playability and voicing of a masterfully built modern guitar. And the tone and feel of this guitar is really unique. Sometimes to my ears having that commanding classic Brazilian dreadnought sound, especially when played with a flat pick. But the current setup gives it a playability that really accommodates fingerstyle and sounds complex and alluring, especially in alternate drop tunings. So whether you call this guitar new or old, it's undoubtedly special. And we couldn't be more pleased to have it here in the Teen Ag showroom. Thanks for checking it out with me today. If you wanna learn more, hit up the product link in the description below and feel free to reach out with any questions. Lastly, let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you never miss any of the unique handcrafted guitars we feature here at the North American Guitar. We'll see you next time.